Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, seismicity, and three papers on nuances during the past cycles, both the 12,000 years ago event and some of the half cycles as well, plus more into the past. We've got several sunspot groups we're watching on the Earth facing half of the sun, coronal holes as well, and we also have more coming over the limb as we march towards the weekend. Starting with our star, we see both dark coronal hole patches. We also see the bright active regions. We looked at the sunspots yesterday, but none of those got active. Instead, we took a meandering M-class flare on the northern incoming limb from a sunspot group not yet visible. In 131 angstroms, we can see the flare emerged within the corona in the umbral loops above the incoming sunspot. Even with slightly longer duration, it was not able to produce a coronal mass ejection, but it's yet another feature that we're going to have to watch on our star. Activity not waning at all, but all luckily still below scary levels. Six pointers struck Vanuatu yesterday. Those who monitor seismic activity likely saw it initially rang in at 6.5, but was subsequently downgraded. No significant damage reported as this one was out to sea. Trifecta of major shift papers starting here with one that identifies several key points in the recurring disaster, including the half-cycle event 18,000 years ago, the last great disaster, Younger Dryas 12,000 years ago, and the last half-cycle event about 6,000 years ago. 18,000 years ago and 12,000 years ago were in focus in this one as well. And by the way, with every new identification of these events in a new location, their global impact is greater recognized. Many geologists still think some were regionalized events. And lastly here, folks, stepping back three full cycles ago to show that it was just after the 36,000 years ago event that the Bering Strait was crossable. We also have indication that its flooding out occurred during the Le Champ event and following it, and that a similar impact occurred at the 12,000 years ago range. By the way, as a note on their isotope dating fiasco, all three use slightly different timelines for these same events, and this disagreement is one of the fundamental problems in paleo science as they can barely get on the same page about when things happened in the past, let alone put together the bigger picture pieces of the puzzle. We greatly appreciate your support. We're 12,000 years since the last 12,000 year cycle reset, 6,000 years from the last half cycle event, and heading into another one now. Learn more below the video, subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.